Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadran and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this, a square prism 35 mm side of base 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclination with HP. Draw the projections of the prism when the axis of the prism is inclined at inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. According to the given condition, go to a rectangle command and it should be a continuous line with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. The size of the square is 35, enter height and width as 35, 35 and angle as 45 degree so that I am going to get the required corner resting square. Once the corner resting square has been established, make use of a line command with thickness of 0.13 just to draw the diagonals to get the um, uh, intersection of the lines so that this is going to be the position of the axis line then the remaining corners must be projected till the x y line then we know that the front view of the prism is always a rectangle so go with the rectangle command with 0.5 mm as a thickness this is the start point and this is the end point then now one can see that the width has been fixed then go to the height using the tab key set the height as 60 millimeter now one can see that the front view is completed now make use of a line command with thickness of 0.13 one can join the align here and this line is going to be the visible edge 0.5 millimeter and then make use of a smart dimension command show that the axis as well as the height both are going to be the same as 60 millimeter and the size of the square as 35 millimeter then make use of a text command start naming the respective corners and this corner will be named as a as well as a1 this corner will be named as b as well as b1 b1 and then this corner is going to be named as c as well as c1 and then this corner will be named as d as well as d1 and after which the axis position will be named as O as well as O1 and in the front view accordingly the namings has to be given and here it will be given as A dash and then B dash as well as D sorry uh, we will take it as uh, A1 B1 C1 D1 at the bottom base so A1 dash then this will be taken as B1 dash then this will be taken as D1 dash and then we will be having O1 dash is also inside the bracket then we will be having C1 dash here and in the front view this will be named as A dash that is the top base then B dash then D dash and then O dash and then here we will be having C dash now this is going to be the front view now the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree according to the given condition now select the front view and rotate the base at an angle of 90 minus 40 degree so go to move command move in such a way that the c1 is going to be positioned on the x y line properly and after which so here while selecting select in such a way that the complete names are also supposed to be selected then move with respect to the c1 dash and c1 is going to be positioned on the x y line properly then go for rotate and rotate the base at an angle of 90 minus theta so 90 minus 40 that is going to be the 50 degrees the angle of rotation now for this 50 degree then using a move command we shall slightly move this towards the left side so that we will be having a more space to draw the next stage front view now i will just slightly alter this so that the naming space is going to be seen properly and now make use of as my angle between command just verify the angle whether the axis is inclined at 40 degree or not yes the axis is inclined at 45 degree then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the right extreme corner now we shall complete the projections first and then after drawing these projections we will complete the things properly so let us draw the projections first. Now after drawing these projectors and start giving the namings for the corners. Now 
using the text command this corner will be named as a1 this corner as b1 and this corner as c1 this corner as d1 and accordingly this will become o1 and then this corner will become a b c d and this will be o then we have done the projections here then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.15 complete the boundary first now what is the boundary a1 to b1 b1 to b b to c c to d d to d1 back to a1 this is going to be the boundary this is the first rules of visibility after which what we have to do identify the visible base which is the visible base the top is the visible base and bottom is the invisible base so bottom base edges must be invisible top base is supposed to be visible that means join the base edges line b a and a d as a visible line in the same fashion b1 c1 and c1 to d1 is supposed to be the invisible line and after drawing these lines as a thick line select this edges change it as a invisible edges like this then the longer edges must be connected now using a, a line command connect c to c1 and then a to a1 and however the bb1 and cc1 uh, sorry bb1 and dd1 is a boundary edges now the visible edge is a b c d the line which is passing partially or completely inside the visible base is cc1 this line is supposed to be a invisible line so that invisible line has to be taken as invisible edges now one can see that the cc1 is overlapping with a1 so a to c1 is going to be the invisible edge even though a visible edge is going to cover on it henceforth the a to c is going to be represented as invisible in the figure but however cc1 is going to be the invisible edge then using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 draw a inclined sorry draw an axis line from o1 to o because that is more important to me now the length of the axis has to be measured because the axis is inclined to vp at 45 degree now the length of the axis is measuring as 45.96 millimeter but however the given angle is going to be the true angle or apparent angle the given angle is a apparent angle so one need not to construct an apparent angle straight away this 45.96 millimeter can be drawn at 45 degree if the true angle would have been given one we has to construct the apparent angle now what we have to do go to a line command with the thickness of 0.13 one can draw a inclined line like this now this inclined line is supposed to be a continuous line so change the line style to a continuous line and then after which then make use of a angle between command show that this angle between two lines are 45 degree now this 45 degree is the beta angle directly given to us now select the top view completely then make use of move command then using the move command select o1 o1 is supposed to be on the 30 degree line first and then go with a rotate command sorry here original has been moved that so to avoid that one we'll go to move command we'll switch on the copy of move and repeat it o1 is going to be selected and it is going to be positioned on the 30 45 degree line and then go to rotate command select o1 is there itself that is the end point and then the another end point o is going to be rotated like this and positioned on the 45 degree line like this then after this rotation once again using the text curves or a line command with 0.13 and a continuous line one can draw the projectors from all the respective corners starting from the right extreme corner now we shall complete the projectors first now if any of the projectors are going to be uh, uh, different lines then one can lock the angle as 0 degree or 100 degree for drawing vertical and horizontal projectors now to get the O, just move the cursor here. We will get the endpoint symbol. From the endpoint symbol, connect O to O. And now in the same fashion, the bottom base is also going to be connected. Now here you can see is to draw the bottom base, one can lock the angle as 90 degree, and we will connect B to B properly. 
so b and d is going to be there so we will project b and d and then o is also on the same height then c1 is on the xy line so log the angle as 90 degree to avoid confusions and a is at this height so again the angle is supposed to be 90 degree and a is going to be projected up to that height here now a is going to be projected to that height and connect a to a and then after which uh, make use of a text command and start naming the corners now where is a a is here so this will become a1 dash and this point will become b1 dash and this point will become c1 dash and this will be d1 dash and this will be o1 dash accordingly here a dash b dash c dash d dash and then o dash now complete the front view to complete the front view the very first point is using a line with 0.5 mm thickness complete the boundary which is going to be the boundary starting with a1 dash join the line to a dash b dash then connect c dash c dash to c1 dash then to d1 dash then to a dash which is going to be the boundary and after which join the base edges that is a dash to b1 dash and b1 dash to c1 dash similarly a dash to d dash and c dash and remaining the longer edges d dash to d1 dash as well as b dash to b1 dash then draw a line for a chain line that is o dash to o1 dash now this o dash to o1 dash is supposed to be a chain line with a thickness of 0.13 now we have completed the solution but not with respect to the rules of visibility now according to the rules of visibility the boundary line is always thick the, so first one we have completed the boundary line now after completing the boundary line after completing the boundary line that is uh, d1 dash c1 dash c dash b dash and a dash to a1 dash to d1 dash is the boundary line now identify the visible base and invisible base a1 b1 c1 d1 is nearer to the observer a b c d is away from the observer henceforth a b c d must be an invisible base so select that line and show that these edges are invisible edges but however c b and a b are a boundary line and a1 b1 c1 d1 is a base edges which is a visible one now inside this the partially or completely passing longer edges that is dd1 is supposed to be a invisible edge change it as invisible edge now the bb1 is a visible edge passing inside the invisible base now according to the rules of visibility and invisibility one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects if anyone is having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also kindly share this video to all the first year engineering students and once again thanks for watching my video